It's obviously been quite an interesting week in the press. Um, there's been some there's been some smack talk going on back and forth. Obviously, Trent Alexander Arnold came out yesterday and uh, made a pretty outrageous quote. I don't have the quote verbatim in front of me, but he was pretty much saying that the trophies that Liverpool have won mean mean more, more. mean more because of the way that they did it. Now, I I couldn't for one tell you what that's meant to mean. He said the two financial situations of the club, which mm-hmm. again feel like there's a bit to unpick there, but he said that he feels like Liverpool are actually more successful, even though statistically City are more successful because of the, inverted commas, way that they've done things. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, it's mean more FC, isn't it? Like, yeah. I mean, I don't... They've invented caring now. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, was, <laughs> you did that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I'll, I'll go try and care now. They've, but... they've, inv- they've invented having fans who like winning trophies now. Yeah, it's... It's 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 just a, a mad comment to make before we play each other. Um, some of that's going to rifle things up. Obviously, I just I just don't agree with it in the slightest. Really, that surprises me. I thought, <laughs> I thought you'd say actually it didn't mean a lot to you when we won the treble. <laughs> I, do, I I just think I don't agree with anything that he's saying. Like the whole, it means more to them. Like why 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 would why it mean would more that, to them? Yeah. What why like I saw it a tweet. I saw a tweet that said something along the lines of. When Rodri scored that goal in Istanbul, I quickly got out my Excel app on my phone, went through all of Manchester City's finances for the past 15 years before deciding what my barometer of celebration will be in accordance <laughs> with the financial records. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that, like, is that what you think City fans are doing? Yeah, we have to go through How much money do we spend to get to this point? Right, okay. Oh, that's, so, that's that much per goal, which means I can be this level of happy. A bit too much for me to be ex- eccentric. I've got, not a cry, not yeah. a cry. I've not, I've not, we've not quite got to that point yet. Like auditing the goals. Can't yeah. quite take my shirt it off um because because we just we're, we're putting in a bid for Gavardial so can't, can't do that <laughs> can't do that we'll have to we'll have to rein it in a little bit yeah. so we can afford that Gavardial it seemed to me like a really rogue comment which you don't expect in this day and age because players are generally so media trained you know to like be to say the appropriate thing yeah, yeah. it seemed to me like a comment from days gone by when like Fergie and Wenger used to throw shade at each other yeah, every yeah. single press conference it seemed like that. And to be honest, I'm kind of all for it because obviously as we'll get on to, there's been a bit of a retort today on that from a City player, but I, it kind of builds the tension around the game. I don't agree with the comment itself. I think that he's, you know, chatting absolute rubbish, but it gets you talking. Like, we've got some stuff to talk about. It gets We're you speaking about it now. Like, I, I like it. I like the animosity that it kind of brings. Yeah. It's a... Uh, it adds a little spice to games. Like Derby Day is now, for an example. They're not as fiery. It's all, they all hug each other after a match. Yeah, yeah. Bernardo I mean, Silva and Bruno around. Fernandes, like, yeah. giving each other a hug. It's all, it's all nicey, nice Derby Day nowadays. Yeah. Do you remember when we had Mancini and it's all kicking off with Fergie on the touch? It's like when we were Mark Hughes. Yeah, that. yeah. Like, Carlos Tevez doing, doing little, what was it, like, talking something. Yeah, yeah. See, that Fergie. kind of stuff, it, it's... Yeah. That adds That's to it. It want. adds so much to it. Like, yeah. and then... So, yeah, they hit Trent doing that. Like I say, I, I'm, I agree with you. I don't agree with anything that he said. I think he, he's chatting. But I'm here for it. Yeah. You keep talking like that. You keep talking. I, 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 I want to fuel that fire. Yeah. And speaking of fuel on the fire, we'll obviously get to the quote that came out today from Haaland, which was cold as ice. He, he pretty much got told about the comment from a journalist for the first time. He hadn't heard it. He'd be, he was read the comment. Um, and his response was, well, I've been here one year. Um, I won a treble, which was pretty nice. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't know how that feels. Which is it's peak. It's like, it, I love it. 10 out of 10. I love it. I love yeah. it. Well done, Harlan. Like, well <laughs> done. Brilliant. I love that so much. What I do love now, um, and I'm not, I'm not about to like take the side of United fans in any way, shape or form, but I do love just being able to pull a treble out your pocket like yeah. a little trump card. Yeah, it's yeah. like a Uno reverse card. Yeah, is it anything you like, say, but have you won a treble? It, it, annoyed, it annoyed me for... 30 years when they were doing it but oh shut up like get over it United whatever yeah. but now I do, I do now we can do get it, it. <laughs> you get it like, oh yeah it actually feels good doing yeah. that I, like, anyone get you know any Liverpool fans Arsenal fans now start going oh you're rubbish at the weekend or they start making comments or 115 charges whatever I'm like oh what's this in my back oh 
Treble. <laughs> not treble for you. Where's yours? Where's your... You don't got one of these, mate. You're not, you're not going to treble. You're not getting invited. Yeah. <laughs> and Harlan literally did that. And ha- Harlan did, he that, did that in the press conference. He did that in oh, the press. He was just yeah. like, um, Trent Alexander Trent Alexander Under Arnold said X, Y, Z. He just went, mm, no treble. <laughs> basically did that which is it's, it's great it's, yeah. and that's what I mean that's going to add to the weekend everyone's everyone's just both seen these quote, yeah. uh, both quotes from both players well, the, the thing is is like if you're a Liverpool podcast or you're a Liverpool fan you should almost be enjoying it as much as we are because you should be going well, I don't agree with what Harlan said and it's rubbish and they're dirty cheats and they did it with all well, the money five, whatever, yeah, blah 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 yeah. But you should love the fact that they're both saying it because it's just, it's tension for the game. It's that adds Because it, it just adds a lot to the weekend. Like, rather than being, oh, nice and nice and Trent being like, oh, I respect everything Man City have done. The guy came out and started shooting and yeah. I'm, I'm glad that Haaland fired shots back. Yeah, exactly. When I seen that quote from Trent, I was like, yeah, I don't agree with it. I did not expect anyone to respond to it. Mm. And I thought if they'd even get asked, if say if Pep got asked or anyone got asked. Oh, if Pep got asked, it would be, I be, love oh, Trent Alexander. Yeah, he's it'd a be great played player. down so much. But Haaland to come back and say that is just, it's almost like he's gone off the rails a little bit. I think yeah. City would be like, whoa, you shouldn't have said that. What I love about it as well is watch the clip. So cool and calm when he says it. He doesn't like, he doesn't bite. He's not like getting angry. He's not like, oh, that's a rubbish quote. Like, he should think about the fact that we want a treble. He literally sits there and he goes, well, been here a year, want a treble. It's quite nice. Can't imagine he knows how it feels. I mean, the thing is, the best way to come back to it is the success that we've yeah. had. Like that is the best way. Like yeah. that the, us pulling out that treble card yeah. is just the best way of coming back to anyone. And when it gets to the weekend now, and we see a crunching tackle from Trenton, or we see Harland megs him and score a goal, or or yeah. whatever else, like we know we know it's going to mean something. Yeah, the tension is there. Yeah. But Harland if we scores to celebrate in yeah. Trent's face or just do anything yeah. like that. But or, or that's on the Trent scores, and then we'll yeah. be sat here thinking, oh gosh. I mean, I mean, he scored against us last time. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's on that's on the cards now. I'd like to say it adds, it adds, adds a the, level of excitement for the game at the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, what what are your thoughts going into the weekend in terms of? I guess if we're going to win, if we if you think we have it in us to win, what are you think in Liverpool at the moment? Liverpool getting the results. I still think, I, I I think Liverpool fans are the good. I still think we are the better side. I just think they're getting, they they are getting the results, which is showing champion form, yeah. which is, which is great for them, and that's why they're currently sitting top of the Premier League because they keep, they keep getting clutch results. Norwich, uh, sorry, not Norwich, uh, um, Forest, is it Forest, yeah, Brazil, yeah. and you got. Luton like kind of games things like that they're, they're getting good results which fares I mean I'm all, all, all for it but they're doing I, it in a similar way that they have done before which is scrappy games but getting the they'll results. grind out the results they keep they're getting a lot of like 80 plus minute goals yeah and I, but I feel like cause when you win the Premier League I feel like you do kind of, it's yeah, not yeah, it's not all these 5-0 6-0 kind of thing you do have to grind out results where you're not particularly playing well they're doing that Um, I think we are the better team I think going into weekend, I do feel like we're going to have to be playing at a high level, something that we all know. We've not won at Anfield with fans in the stadium, which is yeah. the Anfield curse. Is is Although people say, no, it's gone because we won there in, in the COVID year. For, for me, and I'm a Man City fan, I feel like there's a bit of an asterisk next to it. Yeah, because like, yeah, like no, the fans aren't there. The, the, or it's in brackets like we won. But there was no fans. I, I feel like it's we won, but the curse is not broken. The curse still remains. It's yeah. still it's still a thing. The Anfield, the Anfield curse is fully there, and it's something that we're going to have to come over, uh, overcome this weekend. I back us to do it because looking at what we did last year, I know I go back to them kind of games, but we had to get to a level to beat the big dogs. Mm. If we want to win this Premier League, I'm telling them players, you need to go there and you need to beat them. Yeah, you need to. Uh, obviously, we can draw against them, but. I say the the uh, Liverpool dropping points from now to end of the season is far and few between. I don't know where it's going to be, you, you, so we need to get up there. You've said for a few weeks now that you feel like we're going to win. That yeah. You feel like we'll get that result. There, I'm I, really I, not I, on the same I, boat. I, I genuinely feel like we'll, we'll we'll do it. I'm really not on the same boat. I, I hope we will, and I want us to win, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have this sort of like assuredness. Big Steve was saying when he was last here that he feels the same. Like he just has this feeling that we're going to win. Yeah, I, I don't know what it, I can't even explain it. Yeah, I just no, have a feeling that you don't have to. We're going to get up for it, and we're going to win that game. I was like that last season with the Champions League, and I feel like a lot of City fans were from from day dot, from the day the season, the Premier League st- season started. I was saying to all my mates, City will win the Champions League this year, and people, you know, they were going to me. 
why oh, have you got this feeling like you keep getting back? Like just last season, just in April, you got embarrassed by Real Madrid, you got knocked out in the 120th minute, you know, blah, 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 and all these upsets, like what's making you so sure now? I was like, I can't really explain it. I just, I just have this feeling that this is the season that we win the Champions League, and we did. So I hope your feelings are right. I hope my feelings are right. I hope your feelings <laughs> now, are right. Now, does it mean that I'm going to be nervous going into the, uh, not nervous going into it because I have this assuredness? No, not at all. I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be just Agonous. as scared as as any time that we, we we play these kind of games. I think it's going to be difficult and it's going to be horrible. It is, it is. But I'm just hoping we get the peak of these players. We've had a few players uh, in midweek who got a bit of a rest, which is nice to see. Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden getting a rest, Rodri getting off at half time. I think Kyle Walker getting a full rest, John Stones getting majority rest. I think that's clutch. To to pull it back to the Champions League game uh, last night, that's pretty much what we said, wasn't it? Is we just wanted injury free. We said that was the biggest thing in this game. Yeah, injury free, resting players and going through. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, again, without being disrespectful, going through felt quite assured, especially after the first ten mm-hmm. minutes. After that, we just said... At 10 rest, minutes, uh, I said subs. Players. Yeah, yeah. Subs at 10 minutes. I was thinking, there's no point even keeping any of these players on the pitch. Yeah, rest them. Yeah. yeah, some people were asking why we bought off Roger at half-time, and it's like, we, we don't need him. We just don't need him at this point, um, and we need the rest ahead of ahead of Sunday. Um, so, pff, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it goes well for us, but it's mad to think that on Monday's episode, we could be top of the Premier League. We could be. We could be top of the Premier League. Or we could be third. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, don't tell me that. <laughs> top of the Prem. Top of the Prem, that's all you can see. Yeah. Top of the Prem. Top of the Premier League is where it's at and it's where we will be on Monday. I believe. Uh, I be- I, you know what? You're making me believe more. Good. Which is good. You're inspiring me, which is good too. <laughs>